At 5.29 a.m. on July 16, 1945, the first ever nuclear bomb was detonated at a small town known as Alamogordo, New Mexico. J. R. Robert Oppenheimer, the man considered the father of the atom bomb, witnessing the power of the bomb recalled a verse from the Hindu holy book Bhagavad Gita. Now I am become death, the destroyer of the world. So how do these tremendously powered weapons work? That's what we are going to be knowing today. In this episode of the world of aviation and science, how does a nuclear bomb work? After the Trinity test, two atom bombs were subsequently dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan and the World War II came to an end. So what's a nuclear bomb? A nuclear bomb is an explosive device that derives its destructive forces from nuclear reaction. That is either nuclear fission or nuclear fusion. In nuclear fission, a neutron hits uranium-235, forming uranium-236. As uranium-236 is unstable, it splits into barium-141 and krypton-92, producing energy. The reaction creates three neutrons which then hits three uranium-235 and the cycle continues, producing tremendous amount of energy. Critical mass Critical mass is the smallest amount of fissile material needed for a sustained nuclear reaction. So, until a detonation is desired, the nuke must be kept subcritical. For a detonation, the two subcritical masks must be brought together. In Little Boy, which was dropped on Hiroshima, the explosion was achieved by firing a piece of uranium down a gun barrel into another piece. Nuclear Fusion In nuclear fusion, deuterium and tritium fuse together to form helium, a heavier element, and freeing a neutron, producing a large amount of energy. As the working of a fusion bomb is a bit complicated, I simplified it. A fusion explosion begins with the detonation of the fission primary stage. The shock waves from the high explosive shells compresses the plutonium into supercritical metallic fluid. The temperature becomes high, causing it to glow with X-rays. The radiation channel then fills with X-rays. The X-rays compress the plutonium spark plug suspended within the superheated liquid deuterium. The density of the plutonium spark plug rises to such an extent that nuclear reaction starts to take place. And thus, nuclear fusion produces large amount of energy. As nuclear fusion produces more energy than nuclear fission, fission bombs or the atom bombs are comparatively less destructive than the hydrogen bombs or the fusion bombs. So why do some few countries have these destructive weapons? Well, the problem is the raw uranium-238 contains only 0.7% of pure uranium-235. Effects of nuclear explosion on humans First 1-9 to nine weeks with the greatest number of deaths, with 90% due to thermal injury and 10% due to super lethal radiation exposure. 10 to 12 weeks. The reason behind the deaths during this period is due to ionized radiation exposure and radiation burns due to highly penetrative gamma rays. People are likely to have cancer due to severe radiation exposure. That's it for today guys. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you could enjoy other videos. Till then, goodbye.